Russia, officially the Russian Federation, is located partly in Eastern Europe and partly in North Asia, it borders the Arctic Ocean, to the north. It is the largest country in the world, covers more than 11% of the Earth's landmass. It is a country about 1.8 times the size of the US. However, vast regions of the country were uninhabited or uninhabitable. Russia is a country with a low population density, 9 people per square kilometer, compared with Germany, 233 people, China, 149 people, and the USA about 34 people. But still, Russia has a population of 144 million people in 2020. Most Russians live in the westernmost of the country in the European part of Russia. The areas where Russians live have tended to be flat or rolling, and a mix of forests, agricultural areas, and steppes. The capital and largest city is Moscow, the core of political power and the center of culture and trade. St. Petersburg, the former imperial capital, is Russia's second largest city and an important Russian port on the Baltic Sea. Russia stretches across 11 time zones. It takes over 12 hours by plane to reach from St. Petersburg on the Baltic Sea to Vladivostok on the Pacific coast. The country also includes the exclave or discontinuous piece of territory of Kaliningrad situated between Poland and Lithuania. Climate Shape Settlement Patterns While winters in some parts of Russian are milder than others, winter in most of Russian is a challenge. The harsh Siberian winter has led most people to live in the western part of the region. Most of Russia is located in the high latitudes and has a harsh climate characterized by long, cold winters and short, relatively cool summers. Seasonal temperatures across this broad landmass can vary greatly. In eastern Russia's Yakutsk, for example, January temperatures often fall below minus 33 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 36 degrees Celsius, and July temperatures average minus 64 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 18 degrees Celsius. The coldest winter temperatures occur in eastern Siberia, Verkhoyansk, has been called the cold pole of the world. January temperatures there have fallen to a low of minus 90 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 68 degrees Celsius. Warmer air from the Atlantic Ocean moderates temperature in western Russia. Most of Russia, however, lies well within the Eurasian landmass, far away from any moderating ocean influences. As a result, much of the country's interior has more extreme variations in temperature and little precipitation. The northernmost portion of Russia is dominated by tundra, a biome characterized by very cold temperatures, treeless and marshy plain. Here, Temperatures can drop below minus 50 degrees Celsius and much of the soil is permafrost, soil that is consistently below the freezing point of water. About 10% of Russia is tundra. Here is known for its herds of wild reindeer. Frost weathering is the most important physical process here, gradually shaping a landscape that was severely modified by glaciation in the last ice age. The fishing and port industries of the northwestern Kola Peninsula and the huge oil and gas fields of northwestern Siberia are the largest employers in the tundra. Russia's largest climate region is the subarctic. Although the subarctic lies south of the tundra, some of the world's coldest temperature occur here. For 120 to 250 days each year, snow covers the ground. The subarctic climate supports the taiga, a boreal forest belt that covers two-fifths of western Russia and extends into much of Siberia. Roughly the size of the United States, the Russian taiga is the world's largest coniferous forest, containing about one-half of the world's softwood timber. Russia's mid-latitude climates are much milder than the high-latitude climates, with milder winters and warmer summers. Although still relatively cold, these climates are where most Russians live and where much of Russian's agricultural production takes place. Most of Russian plain have a humid continental climate. Moscow lies in a humid continental region. Temperatures in Moscow range from 9 degrees Fahrenheit to 14 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 13 degrees Celsius to minus 10 degrees Celsius in January and from 66 degrees Fahrenheit to 99 degrees Fahrenheit or 19 degrees Celsius to 37 degrees Celsius in July. In humid continental areas, the coniferous taiga of the north gives way to mixed coniferous deciduous forest soils are more fertile than those of the taiga, and the farming methods and fertilizers have made them more productive. 
Farther south, the mixed forests gradually merge into temperate grasslands. The rich Chernozem soil makes these grasslands ideal for crop production, especially for growing sunflowers, sugar beets, and wheat. An area between the Black and Caspian Seas and a band along Russia's border with Kazakhstan make up Russia's steppe climate region. This temperate grassland area has dry summers and long, cold, dry winters with swirling winds and blowing snow. The steppe's Chernozem soil is rich in organic matter that enables many plants to flourish. In recent years, however, the introduction of foreign plants and overgrazing by animals have damaged the steppe ecosystem. As the newly introduced plant species crowd out native grasses, soil fertility declines. The Ural Mountains, running north to south, traditionally formed the boundary between Europe and Asia and presented a formidable historical barrier to development. Culturally and physiographically, Western Russia, beyond the Ural Mountains, is quite similar to that of Eastern Europe. The region of Russia east of the Ural Mountains is known as Siberia. Russia has nine major mountain ranges. In general, the eastern half of the country is much more mountainous than the western half, the interior of which is dominated by low plains. To the east of the Urals is the West Siberian Plain. Much of the plain is poorly drained and consists of some of the world's largest swamps and floodplains. Large regions of the plains are flooded in the spring, and marshlands make much of the area unsuitable for agriculture. There are many lakes and swamps. This area had large petroleum and natural gas reserves. The region directly east of the West Siberian Plain is the Central Siberian Plateau. The climate is continental with short warm summers and long and severely cold winters. Most of the territory is covered with conifer forests mineral resources here are very rich and include coal, iron ore, gold, platinum, diamonds and natural gas. Siberia is vast and sparsely populated, covering an area of over 13.1 million square kilometers, but home to merely one-fifth of Russia's population. Novosibirsk and Omsk are the largest cities in the region. Russian Plain, also called the East European Plain, makes up the largest part of lowland areas in Russia. This part has navigable waterways and a rich black soil, known as Chernozem, that supports the production of wheat barley, rye, oats and other crops. About 75% of Russian population lives on Russian plain. This region holds Russian's most populous cities, including Moscow and St. Petersburg. Russia's size and geographical location have presented some challenges for its population. Much of Russia is simply too cold for widespread human settlement. Thus, even though Russia is the largest country, the area that is suitable for agriculture and intensive development is much smaller. Much of the Russia regions are too cold for agriculture. Russia has only 8% of arable land. In Russia's northern regions, agricultural development is restricted by short growing seasons and frequent droughts. As snow melts, it takes topsoil with it, and thus erosion is a serious issue in these areas as well. Still, some have carved out settlements in this frigid environment. Oymyakon, located in northeastern Russia, is considered to be the coldest permanently inhabited places in the world. It has a population of around 500 and temperatures here once dropped to minus 71.2 degrees Celsius or minus 96 degrees Fahrenheit. It takes 20 hours to reach Oymyakon from the nearest city of Yakutsk. Industry, too is hampered by Russia's cold climate in the Siberian region. In a region so sparsely populated, how do you build roads, factories, and large settlements? Even if there are resources present, as there are, how do you get them to nearby industrial areas? The industrial developments and human settlements that do exist in this region require high energy consumption and highly specialized facilities needed to cope with cold temperatures and permanently frozen soil. The extremely uneven distribution of human and natural resources is a striking feature of Russian geography and population. Despite government attempts to settle people in sparsely populated Asian areas abundant in resources, this imbalance persists. Meanwhile, depletion of water and fuel resources in the European part outpaces exploitation of resource-rich Siberia.